time management, two goal-oriented players, similarities. Both are rising sophomores in high school. Both have one-handed backhands. Both have the goal of playing college tennis in the U.S. system. Practice, practice, practice. This is just a technical review. But for three years, you have 1,095 days, multiplying by minutes per day, 1,440. That's 1,576,800. A player could certainly take a redshirt year. That's a year where you can be part of the team, be a student athlete, but not play in official matches. So it would take it from a three-year to a four-year program. That's 1,460 days. That's over 2 million minutes. One of the players would like to play pro tennis. That'd be seven years away if they were to start a pro career after college. That's 2,555 days. That's over 3.5 million minutes. 3,679,000. 1,200. Both need to build more myelin. Myelin is essential for the proper functioning of the nervous system. It's a material produced by the brain. More myelin equals speed and smoothness of motor functioning. This is a technical review. This needs to be done in a daily process. 10 minutes, 10 months, 10 years. Check the checkpoints. The dimensions of the court, physical laws dictate stroke production. Certainly some players, some parents, some coaches would interpret this as being too mechanical. But if you use high-speed film and you watch what the very best players in the world do, at the impact point, they're 95% the same with grip, swing, body. So time management, build more myelin. Manage your tennis game by the minute.